Hi, I'm Patty Pinnell, a physical therapist in Denver, Colorado. I work for the Women's Tennis Association, where I travel around the world treating top professional tennis players, as well as the recreational tennis athlete. And I'm Ann Parker, TRX course instructor. And today, Patty and I are going to show you four exercises that will help you improve your tennis game this summer and stay injury free. These exercises that Ann is about to demonstrate will help address core stability, hip mobility and stability, and rotational strength. These are the areas I find most common are weak and tight on players and creates more of the upper extremity overuse injuries like tennis elbow and shoulder problems. The exercise that Anne is about to demonstrate, the TRX Tennis Lunge, is a great exercise. It really addresses hip mobility, hip stability, as well as rotational strength. Most people are limited in their serves because they're unable to open at their hip in a fashion that allows them to come through for a good, hard serve. If you'll pay attention, Anne has her plant planted foot straight diagonal. That's working on the strength in her hip stability. The TRX leg is at a diagonal at the same direction that you should be opening up during your serve. Her arms are reaching from the TRX leg up and over in the same diagonal motion that you need to come across your body for a serve or even when you're reaching for a backhand. Again, this exercise addresses many components to improve and better your tennis game. This next exercise is what we call the butter churn. It addresses upper body rotational strength and shoulder stability. As you'll see, Anne is going to lean away from her anchor point, bring her arms straight around, and then bring her hands into her chest. Her feet are aligned perpendicular or parallel with one another. Again, this will address rotational strength in your upper body as well as shoulder stability. The next exercise Anna is going to demonstrate is a great exercise to improve your hip strength and power as well as the speed of your footwork. In order to cross that court for a better game, this exercise will help you get your feet moving. As you watch Ann do this exercise, she is lunging down on her leg that's facing the anchor point, crossing back behind. It's essential to be able to get some power and speed off of your feet as well as move in a transverse plane in order to catch your back serve and your your backhand and your forehand. It's strengthening the front leg and helping you get foot speed by being quick and popping off of your feet as she does this exercise. The next exercise Anne is going to demonstrate is what we call the power serve. This is an exercise that will require bo upper body strength and help you in finishing off your serve so that you end with a powerful stroke. Notice that her TRX is aligned over her shoulder. It is not a lower body strength exercise. She's light in her feet. She pulls down straight into the anchor point and then as she pulls up she pulls down into the handles with her hands and you are going to feel that in your shoulder, your lats, and your back. 